What's up everybody? So now we're going to go ahead and go through how to get some of this carrier bloatware off of the phone. Surprisingly, there's not that much on here, which is nice, but there is still some, mainly all this AT&T stuff, which I'd never use. And if you never use it either, you can disable it. It doesn't remove it from the phone, but it actually just prevents it from running and gets it off of your home screen. So really easy to do that. All you do is just pick whichever one you want, long press, and then we get a little menu here. You can do disable or you can do select if you want to do multiples at a time. I'm going to do multiples and actually I'm pretty sure this whole folder can be disabled. So go ahead and hit uninstall. And then you get a pop-up saying it's going to disable the app. Go ahead and hit disable. 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 And again, this is all up to you. If you do use some of this, then of course you wouldn't want to disable this. Like I said, for me, I don't use any of these, so I'm going to just disable all of them. And there we go. So that help one can't be disabled. The next best thing we can do is we can hide the app. So to do that, go ahead and go here, go to settings, and then go to hide apps, and then go to device help, and then hit apply. And if I go back home, it is now hidden. So that's still kind of lurking in the background, but at least it cleans up your app drawer and it, it removes it from there. If you want to get rid of something that's on the main area here, again, just long press, and then you'll get that little pop-up to either disable or select multiple items, and then disable multiple items. And again, disable what you don't need or keep it all the way it is. That's really up to you. But for those of you who don't use any of that stuff, hopefully this helps you in uh, cleaning out your phone a little bit and get rid of the things that you just simply don't use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.